Well, you are taking a live look at conditions outside in Spokane County right now. Again, a public safety alert issued for the area. This means that you should stay inside, reducing your exposure outside and staying indoors as much as possible uh, because of these conditions. Michelle Boss is tracking the forecast and when we could possibly see some improvements. Michelle, when do you think that will be? Gosh, you know, it's not looking like it's going to be anytime soon, unfortunately. Now, of course, it's one thing to go outside and see the really hazy, smoky skies out there and realize that right where you are, we are dealing with those very hazardous uh, air quality conditions. But if we take a look at visible satellite, you can just see how extensive that smoke is all across the northwest. So uh, again, most of this, uh, almost all of it, is smoke and not cloud cover. And you kind of see, hopefully this comes across on air, kind of that brownish tinge here. And this is what, uh, what we're looking at visible satellite, where the satellite picture is actually looking down kind of like an eyeball rather than uh, infrared satellite, which is oftentimes what we use, especially at night when it's too dark to see anything. But anyway, you can see how extensive this smoke is all the way from, of course, Northern California, expanding through pretty much all of Oregon and then all of Washington as well. And as I kind of put the wind motion, the upper level wind direction up there, you can see why things aren't expected to improve any time soon because of course those fires are still burning, still producing smoke and right now we're kind of getting this uh, clockwise circulation around an area of high pressure bringing our upper level winds from the south and southwest and then turning towards uh, eastern Washington and just kind of bringing the smoke all the way up from the south and spreading it all across our state. So it's looking smoky tomorrow as well. Our current air quality, as mentioned before, is in the hazardous care, uh, hazardous category. About 448 is the AQI air quality index. It maxes out at 500, so it's pretty much as bad as it can get. Of course, the smoke has affected our temperatures today. We do have a really warm air mass overhead, and normally, if we had the sun, we'd be in the middle and upper 80s, a lot of 90s across central Washington, but we topped out at 79 with those smoky skies, and you can expect the smoke is going to be suppressing our temperatures over the next couple of days as well. So smoky skies expected through at least Monday. Of course, we can predict the the weather patterns. We can't predict the fires so much. So depending on how those fires either grow or get suppressed, that's also going to affect how much smoke we see uh, moving on into next week. Above average temperatures despite the smoke that'll be in the upper 70s and low 80s. Our average high is 75 right now, so it's certainly cooled down. We do have a slight chance of some much needed rain on Tuesday. How much we're going to see is remains to be seen. It's not looking like a pretty good chance right now, but anything we will take anything we can get better chances for some wet weather west of the Cascades, and of course that will help as well. But for right now, upper level high pressure to our south. Again, we have that southwesterly flow pushing all that smoke into the inland northwest, and that's going to remain the same weather pattern tomorrow. So future tracker just tracking clear skies as far as clouds are concerned. Plenty of smoke out there, though. Clouds increasing, moisture increasing for your Monday, but if it doesn't bring any rain, it's not really going to help us at all. So for tonight, smoky skies, temperatures down into the mid 50s. Smoky skies again tomorrow with a high around 80. You can see our winds aren't expected to be very strong out of the south at 5 to 10. Smoke in central Washington with highs in the middle and upper 70s. Smoky skies in eastern Washington and north Idaho, highs in the mid 70s to around 80. And again, somewhat suppressed temperatures in the 80s across the rest of the region due to the smoke in the area. Here's a look at that extended forecast. We're looking at some chances of rain as we get into the middle of next week. We will keep our fingers crossed. Otherwise, above average temperatures and dry weather continue. Stick around. We'll be back after the break.